So let me tell you about the contribution of Mark Hamill to the war effort, chat. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine this with me. Mark Hamill wakes up one day and he is plagued by the war in Ukraine. And he is thinking, you know, there's people there that do not have electricity, that do not have water, and he can help. He can be the savior. So what he did is he created an app in his voice so that when the official alert for a Russian air raid starts, if you install his app, you will listen to it in his voice. And he will say, don't be careless. Your overconfidence is your weakness. And after the alert is gone and it's safe to come out, he will say, may the force be with you. That is, I mean, look, look, I, I have seen many strong gestures of support. But what he did is uh, beyond the call of duty, right? I, I mean... Uh, such kindness, such empathy, such compassion, uh, it moved me, you know, like uh, I'm here in Romania, I'm obviously not affected by the war, but uh, I can take a car and I can be there within three hours, so it is concerning, right, because it can expand, but uh, I am glad that uh, people aren't making a circus out of it. And I'm really happy that actors are taking this as an opportunity to gain free publicity. Like, uh, do a trivial gesture and appear in the Associated Press. I gotta say, you know, like, uh, the logic is solid. I mean, if people are having power outages, what you want to do to help them is give them a phone app. Because uh, we know that phones uh, run on, um, what, mechanical power? Like, they, they have a hamster, a tiny hamster, and they, it spins the wheel. Inside that that's how the phones get powered up. Yeah, I mean this is this is very strong and um, apparently some Ukrainians, right? So the Associated Press actually found some Ukrainians. I believe there's like three of them, which uh, apparently like this app. Uh, one of them uh, compared the Russians with the Sif. Another one uh, said that he wants to learn English, so he's happy to listen to the voice of Mark Hamill. Yeah, so in a country with tens of millions of people, they found uh, a couple of individuals who like the gesture of Mark Hamill. Uh, they did not find anyone that doesn't, though, right? So we do not talk about those. But it is interesting. Um, I can't imagine how it's like to live under aerial bombardment. Like, you, you hear the bombs blowing off away from your house, sometimes close by. You know, maybe one blows and it shakes your entire house and breaks the windows. It's a little bit stressful, I assume. It's not nice, right? But you have Mark Hamill to tell you. I got Mark Hamill to tell you to take shelter. Now, um, I do know that when I put my favorite song on my alarm clock every morning, eventually I start to hate that song. Because you wake up, you hear the music, and you know, like you, you end up hating it after a while. Because you associate that music with the displeasure of waking up in the morning. Now, imagine the same scenario where you're going to associate Mark Hamill's voice with aerial bombardment. Like, I, I am willing to bet that if someone actually uses this app, after a couple of years, they're going to hear Mark Hamill on television and it's going to give them PTSD. I'm not even kidding. Like, this is not a joke. Like, this is legit. Like, think about it, right? Like, if you're in a traumatic event and you hear someone's voice over and over and over, you're going to associate that voice with the traumatic event. Can happen with smells as well. But in this case, we're talking about a voice. So you're going to, you know, have a person watching Star Wars and they're going to get PTSD because it's going to remind them of the horrors of war. But yeah, you know, it's, it is it is what it is. I, I, I am really glad that he actually did something. You know, uh, very few people um, are willing to do what's needed. And um, he did this app. It's a good thing we don't have AI that can do the same. But hey, you know, like credit is what credit is due. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.